What is going on guys, Asian DVD here and today I'm taking a look at the OnLife game service. So now this is a game service that allows you to play PC or I should say console quality games on any platform. That means PC, Macs, tablets, smartphones, just name it, any platform you can play console quality games. So now how do they achieve this? Well, they achieve this by streaming the games to your platform, whatever it be, PC, Mac, whatever. So this means all you need to play these good quality games is just a good internet connection. And most of us these days, well, I don't want to say most of us, but most of us on the internet, on YouTube at least, have decent internet. And the minimum requirement for playing or using on live, I should say, is 3 megs down. So 3 Mbps down. So... Yeah, that is pretty pretty small I would say because I think I get about 5 megs down so not too bad right so as you can see now I'm gonna go head over into the marketplace and just look uh, for a couple of games and it's gonna take me a while to find a game I don't know why just, just ignore that but um yeah so this actually is a great service and I can't believe I actually never heard about this service before I just happened to hear about it yesterday so I took a look at it yesterday and it actually works fairly well and um, yeah so I just want to talk about it in this video so as you can see I'm just looking for games in the marketplace and you can just search up based on genre or specials or new releases or the playpack playpack is really interesting now what the playpack is it's like you pay ten dollars a month I think in US dollars so you pay ten dollars a month and you get about like 100 plus games like all those games you get them and if there are any DLCs for those games, any DLC, you get a discounted price. So I think that is a pretty good deal. $10 for, for over 100 games, that's a pretty good deal. And I would suggest if you're going to use this service, take advantage of the playback. But um, I'm just testing the service out, so you know I didn't really purchase any games. But instead what I do is, um, the cool thing about this service is you could actually rent games for three days or five days, which I find really, really cool. So I think the price for a three day rent is I think about four, dollars $4, I think it was $5. And the price for um, five day rent, I can't remember, but you'll see it later. I'll, I'll, try to sh I'll show you guys the rent price for games and stuff. You'll find out. So that's pretty cool. And you also can buy the game outright and you know, just play it. So I think this is a really cool service. So as you can see, it says in playback bundle monthly, yeah, ten dollars playback bundle, and you can see this even has achievements and stuff like that too. It even has the add-ons like those are DLCs for Homefront. So as you can see, I'm just like showing you guys, and we'll go over the brack clips a little bit later and the arena a little bit later too. So as you can see, you can still get game. Um, I'm not sure the methods um, you can actually pay for it, but um, that game actually supports the controller and mouse and keyboard. So there we go. I'm just jumping to a game of Homefront. So this, let's see how long it takes to start the game with my internet connection. And this works better on Ethernet, but it does work on wireless. I did this on wireless, as you can see. So let's see how long it takes me to start up the game. Um, it's just a little bit of wait because this is my internet connection. It may work better or worse for yours. So you know, you guys, you just gotta try it out. So the cool thing is, this software, this program, is free to download. Yes, free to download an account free to create so you can just you know download an account and not download an account download the application and create an account for free and try it out you can the cool thing about this also is you can try any game for 30 minutes 30 minutes any game well i mean the game has to have the free trial support in it but um you can pretty much try any game for 30 minutes if it has the support which i think is really cool that way people can get a feel for the game what it's like and you know actually see if the game is something they would like to play i think that's really cool and that's unmatched by anywhere else i haven't seen that feature anywhere else other than on live and as you can see i'm getting into a game of um home front right now so you guys can um just take a look at this you know it's pretty cool taking a little bit of time to load so this with this service it doesn't matter what your pc specs are because it's all you need is a good internet connection bam you're done you're set right there so I think that's really really cool and I recommend you guys try out this source for yourself so I'm just gonna cut out right here and I want you to see this part of the video so 
Um, so I'm going to show you guys the controller lag. So how long the controller lags. Is there any controller lag? We'll find out. So just watch this section of the video to find out. Why did I do that? It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, guys, the audio file messed up for the actual live recording where I showed you guys the actual controller lag and stuff. But as you can see, it's still fairly playable. I mean... There is control there is control lag, but it's very very minimal. But it will hurt you competitively. So if you're gonna play competitively, I would not recommend this because it's gonna hurt you um, in the competitive scene because there is a little bit of control lag and you um well I'll point it out when uh, I actually when you get to that part, but um as you can see I'm playing just fine right here. Um just moving fine, playing. I know I'm camping, but I'm securing Alpha, okay? Can't be some slack, alright? I know some Brits gonna stay in the comments that oh you camper, you nubby camper. But I'm um, whatever, ignoring that fact. As you can see, I'm just you know playing just fine. Securing Alpha right here. I'm gonna do a little bit of gameplay commentary right here. I'm securing Alpha. Come on, I got it. I ranked up. That's amazing. It's a free trial. I didn't, yeah, just to note, I did not purchase this game. I'm doing the free trial. I'm sure, I mentioned that before, but um, yeah. So you can jump into multiplayer just like that. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, and just I just show you guys the control lag right there. It's it's minimal. Uh, I'm to get this guy. I'm gonna get the guy. Oh, I got slippery snap, <laughs> and I died. Fantastic. So it's pretty it's pretty nice though. Uh, let me respawn in here. Bang! I'm in. So as you can see, the graphics in terms of looks, it's not the best, but I mean, I'm used to it because, you know, I always play my like high quality, like um, AAA games on low settings because my PC can't really handle it in terms of graphics because my I have an integrated graphics card, so it's not going to run um, the game smoothly. But this is what one of the better looking games on my PC, just because I'm streaming it too. So that's really cool to think that I could stream any game that I want and it will look as good as this. Now YouTube, uh, not YouTube, <laughs> now YouTube might just uh, lower the quality a little bit because you know it's a YouTube video, they're gonna do all these processing and stuff, lower the quality just by a little bit. But when you see this in actual, actual person, and I got stabbed right there, I know I suck. <laughs> but um, and when you see this in actual person and you try to play it, it looks just fine. And I lost right there, well, what do you expect? I came in late, cut me some slack. But anyway, so if you look in actual, if you actually run it on your own PC, it looks fairly well, fairly decent, I think. And um, it's playable. It's not at all not playable. It's, it's fine. It's playable. But um, it will the control lag will put you in competitive play. So just take note of that. And as you can see right now, I'm just gonna leave the match because some guys talking in the game chat, and I don't want to hear that. So I'm like, eh, I'm out of here. <laughs> but um, so I'm just gonna head over to the um, main menu and I want to mention that they also have a micro console available for sale so you can hook it up to your um, TV and play it right there it's a it's a really small console I'll throw a picture up if I can find one of course I can but um yeah so um, that's, that's what it looks like and it's pretty small it comes with the controller too I think it's like a hundred bucks but um, if you have a PC you don't really need the console you know you can just run it from your PC and just hook it up to your TV through a HDMI port to say so you know and the console is also like uh, it only uses e Ethernet. It doesn't have a wireless feature built in. As you can see, I'm taking a look at some more games right here. Alien vs Predator Classic 2000. You might like that. <laughs> but I'm um, just looking some more around the store a little bit more. And I, they do not have any Call of Duty games right here. I searched it up. No Call of Duty games. But um, that's I think the downfall of these uh, these the system. The, the down the downfall of this service is because of the lack of games. Now there are some decent AAA games right there and um, there's a whole bunch of indie games in there but the thing they're lacking is really good AAA titles like I mean Saints Row 2, Saints Row 3 or Saints Row the 3rd they're pretty good games don't get me wrong but we need more games like Call of Duty, Battlefield I don't I don't think it has Battlefield I didn't search on Battlefield but I didn't see it anywhere in the store too and now we're taking a look in the arena okay so the arena cool thing about this is these are actually games that people are playing live and you can spectate any one of these people right now so i'm gonna jump into this guy and he's playing oh what is this i think it's driver san francisco yeah so we're watching him play live right now pretty cool and you can actually give him a thumbs up or thumbs down cheers and jeers so it's pretty cool it tells you how many spectators are watching how long he's been in the game so you know you can thumbs him up thumbs him down and uh, so you know 
be nice don't just thumbs down random people and the cool thing about this is there is no buffering look at it it's no buffering it's all these games are being played live right now and I'm gonna watch this guy right here playing Tom Clancy and I'm gonna watch him he's trying to customize his character right here now uh, Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Conviction there we go so right there and we, I'm just gonna jump into another guy she's been watching he's playing home front right here so excuse me but look at him he's playing home front Try to snipe that guy in the Humvee. Or try to not snipe him, but she get a headshot. Try to kill him. Oh, he just smashed into that guy. That's cool. Of course, I've seen this before because when I recorded live, I was laughing so. <laughs> I was laughing so hard because of what they were doing. Look at them. They're nubs. They're crashing into each other. What's he doing? I don't know what they're doing. Somebody, tell me what they're doing. I couldn't stand it, so I just like decided to leave because it was just too funny. I was laughing out loud in the live actual um, commentary, but um. No, the fall messed up, so I'm sorry, guys. But um, that guy's playing Saints Row the Third right there, and we're just gonna watch some more people playing Mafia Two. Right here, I see Mafia Two, and it looks it looks fine. I mean, the graphics quality pretty good. And he just jumps to the store page and um, look at his profile. I'm just jumping to Ranky's profile right here. See all the games he has played, friends he has, brat clips, and we'll get into the brat clips in a little, in a little bit. So you can just see I'm watching that guy. And I think I'm gonna exit out of here, or I'm gonna change the view. You can see the view, friends based on friends, more spectators, and all that other um, stuff. So that was the arena, watching people play games live with no buffering. Pretty cool. And this is my profile. I just created this account like yesterday, so I don't have any games or friends or any brat clips, you know. And let's go to brat clip section right now. So brat clip section are 10 second video clips for you to show off your skills or the funny stuff that happens. So I'm gonna watch this guy's home front clip right here. He comes around with the sniper and gets a tri triple kill. With, or was that double kill with the sniper and another double kill with the sniper? Pretty sweet. 10 second clip. Nice. Good job. And we're gonna jump to the seven Assassin's Creed 2. And this one's pretty funny. You guys are gonna laugh at this. Gets up. <laughs> I saw that. I was just laughing so hard. I'm like, what the heck? Why did you do that for? That's so mean. <laughs> That's funny though. Oh, <laughs> uh, goodness. Dead out. Oh, this clip is pretty sweet, actually. I like this clip. He's trying to run. He's trying to run here. Zombies following me. Cut his head off. That's pretty sweet clip. GG Kaz S911. It's a pretty cool clip. And there's a whole bunch more, and you can create your own. And this one's a little bit weird. The Hitman Blood Money one. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't want to find out, so I just uh, leave the brackets. Too many funny things in there, and some weird stuff, too. And, um, yeah. So overall, my thoughts on this um, service, it's good only if you have a good internet connection and it depends, as you can see this is the playback, unlimited play over 100 games, 999 per month, exclusive discounts and cancel anytime. So yeah, that's a playback. And now uh, my overall thoughts on the service, pretty good if you have a good internet connection and how far away you live from the data center to where they actually stream the games from. So that it just depends on your internet connection, how good it is, how bad it is. So. What I would tell you guys to do is try this system, to try the service out for yourself. I'll put the link in the description. Head over there, sign up for an account, download the application. And once you download the application, uh, try it out for yourself. Try a free trial of any game that you want for because you have a free trial for 30 minutes, like I said. And um, if you like the service, keep at it. But I think the major downfall of the service is the lack of games. I mean, it has a lot of games, but. It ha it's lacking a lot of uh, the newer AAA games, which is what I play more time. But if you're an indie person, you can find a whole bunch of indie games in there. Find a couple of good ones, but um, yeah, you can uh, probably enjoy that. So what I would recommend is we got to have some kind of uh, petition for forcing Activision and EA to put all their games on online. Now, they, won't, they wouldn't do that because, you know, it's not good for their business because... You know the renting games and you know playback and all that stuff it, I think they just don't want to do it because you know it's just a not a good proposition for Activision and EA so this is not necessarily on live's fault because of the lack of games I'm pretty sure they're doing their best it's just the actual publishers don't want to get on board with the system the service so this is what my thoughts are and people have said this service is ahead of its time which I agree with because you know not everyone has a great internet connection and you know, not everyone is gonna jump on the bandwagon right here to um, stream games, cause you know, not everyone is just like that. So it is ahead of its time, but 
it's been around since 2010. So I'm assuming it's 2013. I'm assuming they're doing something right to still be around. Three years. That's a pretty long time in teenage years at least. Uh, my time, pretty long. <laughs> anyway guys, um, so that just wraps it up for my thoughts about on life and I guess we can call this a review if you want to, but I only spent like a day with it, I'm gonna be honest. So if you wanna think it's a review, sure I guess. Maybe, I, I don't know, it's not a review. But anyway guys, link is in the description. Check out on life and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or found it informative or whatever. You know, if you want to give me a thumbs down, whatever. Leave some, leave your comments. I want to find, I want to know what you guys are thinking about this service. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And other than that, um, that's pretty much it. And I, just, I think I mentioned the console and the controller. Yeah, the controller is actually just like a regular Xbox controller. And by the way, a regular Xbox controller works with OnLive just as well. As you can see, I just plugged in my Xbox controller and it says, you know, close dashboard and all that. So regular xbox controller just works fine but um they have their own special controller and console for 100 dollars if you want to make that investment um feel free to um give this service a thumbs up that makes no sense but um okay whatever i'm gonna end the video right here leave a like if you enjoyed and talk to you guys later peace